Hey, what's going on, guys? Today's daily challenge is we have seagulls, spoonbills, animal claws, game meat, story missions, and maximum gun kills. I'm going to show you a location where you can pretty much get these done in the same area. I know this video is a little longer than normal, but that is because there is a lot to go over. So, I'm going to go ahead and recommend the east coast, kind of in the blue water marsh to Van Horn area, but we're going to go ahead and just go and break this down one by one. Seagulls you can find in numerous locations. You can also find them in the area that I'm going to recommend to get everything else. But there's plenty of spots scattered across the map. I happen to spawn in in Blackwater. So I ended up coming over to the Upper Montana River over here. At that location is where I ended up getting my seagulls. And you saw I ended up getting two. But there is a couple spots over here near the Upper Montana River. Also on the shores of Blackwater. There is a location where there's usually two gulls. And then all along the coast here, you can find some flying overhead. Also, the island between Thieves Landing and Quaker's Cove, right there, there is a spot where you can find some. As well as along the uh, coast of Ansburg, all the way down to Van Horn. So next, we're going to go ahead and talk about spoonbills. This is another thing that you can find in a lot of different locations. But you can find them in a couple different locations over in the Blue Water Marsh area. So that's why I'm going to recommend you come to this area on the east coast to try to get everything done. And as I said, there is a couple locations specifically over here close by where you can go ahead and find your spoonbills next to your game meat. You know, basically there's herbs to go ahead and craft your game meat. You can also find the seagulls along the northern part of the coast here. And you can also get your animal claws from either bears or badgers in this area. So this is the location where I ended up getting mine. I put three different highlights or four highlights there because all along that area there is plenty of spots where you can find spoonbills. Over here on the coast near the Kamasa River, you can also find some spoonbills. And then as you go down south, kind of close to the uh, Calico Hall and Shady Bell area, there is some spoonbills that will spawn there as well. Now as far as animal claws, you can get these from a lot of different animals. I know when I tell people that you can use eagle talons, they don't believe me, but eagle talons, bear claws, badger claws... Those will all work. A good rule of thumb, too, is go ahead and stock yourself up on them. Those two locations at Twin Stack Pass, you can find some eagles. In the Heartlands, you can find badgers. Valentine at that location, there are usually a good amount of badger spawns. North of Little Creek River, there's a couple locations where you can find plenty of bears. You can also find some eagles over near Lake Owangela, if you remember from the video a couple days ago, and we had to go ahead and find some eagles. And you can also find some bears in tall trees kind of north of Manzanita Post and over here in this location kind of where the cougar spawns uh, in the Great Plains. And then there's also a bear that does randomly spawn sometimes in the bayou slash blue water marsh area and then a little north of that you can also find some badgers which is going to be in the same area here where I'm getting the game meat. So in this area you can find your spoonbills, you can find your badgers or bears to get your claws, you can find ducks and rabbits to get your game meat. On the coast, going from Van Horn up to Ansburg, you can find some seagulls, and that's kind of what I'm showing right here. So from Van Horn to Ansburg, seagulls. This area here, you can find herbs to craft your game meat. You can also find badgers. As we go a little further south, you can find some rabbits and ducks to get your game meat. You can find spoonbills at that location, kind of in the Blue Water Marsh area. You possibly can find a bear if you're lucky enough. And, uh, you know, obviously some spoonbills at that area. So that basically takes care of the majority of your challenges all in this area here. And then if you need to go ahead and do story missions or your maximum gun kills, I'm going to recommend you go ahead and start up Kerosene, Tar, and Greed. During the mission, you will end up jumping on the train and go to the factory. There's a maximum gun on the train, and you can go ahead and get your kills very easily that way. If you don't feel like doing that, you can use any of the hideouts that have a maximum gun. These are just some examples here of where you can use. So I appreciate you guys watching. hope the video helped, and I'll see you next time.